Let's take some time to look at creating some paid promotion campaigns on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, a lot of our activity is stored in this work area. So we click on work and then we have our options here. Now what we're interested in is advertise. And then we can decide to go ahead and create an ad. Very straightforward within LinkedIn campaign manager. We have all of our past campaigns and their metrics associated there and we can decide to create a new campaign by clicking on this button. From here, we're presented with four options. We have to decide whether we want to promote our content within the feed, whether we want to drive some dynamic ads and deliver some personalization to engage our audience, to do those right-hand te text ads that appear down here on LinkedIn. These are the least effective in a lot of cases or send some sponsored in mail. So these are kind of direct messages to target groups. Um, for our campaign, we are going to promote some content. So let's select that. At this point, we just need to fill in our campaign details and then we can start doing things like setting our objectives. So let's name our campaign. Once we have named our campaign and moved on to the next stage, we now need to set our objective. So do we want to send people to our website or our content? Do we want to collect leads or do we want to drive video views? Let's go ahead and drive people to our page content. Let's go ahead and drive people. Let's go ahead and send people to our website or our content. Let's go ahead and send people to our website or our content. We just simply press next. Now we have to choose what are ad formats we want, we want to promote in LinkedIn. So we can decide to promote an article relevant content within the feed itself, or we can have those carousel ads, which you're familiar with from the other channels. So these are the ads with multiple images and you can scroll left or right, or indeed if you want to just engage your audience with a video. So we are going to, promote an article and move on to the next stage. Because I have access to the Digital Marketing Institute page, I can choose what content I might want to promote, but I may not want to take some existing content. I might want to create new sponsored content and I can do that by pressing the create sponsored content button here. And then we can create a post and upload an image and um, we have our dimensions in here and then promote that on LinkedIn itself. Now let's just sponsor this one. Now we have to choose our audience and it's very straightforward. So we begin by adding a location. So let's go with London. At the moment we're targeting London and then we have a number of different options around who it is we want to target. So what company they work for, what industry they work in, the size of their company, their job title, their job function, seniority, schools they've gone, and all of these different options. The ones I find most useful are job title or job function, company size, and company name, because you can do a combination of these things to really hone in on who it is you're targeting. So let's click some options and create target group. So let's choose to target LinkedIn. We're going to target LinkedIn employees. Um, I've chosen company name. I've typed LinkedIn into the field here and now I'm going to choose LinkedIn. So I'm targeting LinkedIn. I can then choose, do I want job, specific job titles or job functions within LinkedIn? I don't have the option to go a company size or company industry because I've chosen a specific company. So this is all understood by the fact that I've chosen a specific company. So, so at the moment, our audience is too small to serve. We need over a thousand people in our audience to serve ads on LinkedIn. So let's increase this by adding another country. Let's add in the United States. So we've added in the United States. We currently have 10,000 people who work for LinkedIn in the United States. We also have some suggestions around similar companies to LinkedIn that we might want to target. So let's just add these to expand our reach. As you can see, it's getting larger and larger. 
So these are a number of companies we want to target. Now within this audience set of 67,000 people, we want to target specific maybe levels of employees. So we can choose either say job titles or job function. If you know the specific job titles, you can type them in here. Otherwise you can go to job function. So then we're presented with an input field here where we can type in the type of job function we want to target or indeed exclude. So let's just look at the full list here. So we have all of this here. Now we're going to target human resources people in these companies. So that brings our audience set down to 3,300 people. And if we wanted, we could add any, of, any combinations of age and gender groups, schools, all of that stuff. Anything that's not blocked out, we can add as a targeting field. Now remember, we do need over a thousand people to serve ads on LinkedIn. So if we add any more segments to our audience list, we might drop down below the, the thousand threshold. So let's just leave it as is and move on. We can decide to expand our audience beyond LinkedIn, similar to Facebook audience network. We can enable the LinkedIn audience network to target LinkedIn users on other websites. Um, and we're also able to expand our audience using some learnings from LinkedIn itself if we want. Best off to leave both of those checked unless you want to exclude particular types or categories from the audience network to maybe protect your brand or indeed add a block list if there are specific websites that you know are on the LinkedIn audience network that you don't want to show within your campaign, you can add them here. So let's move on to the next stage. And the next stage is where we, where we just kind of review everything. So we have set our goal of our campaign is website visits. We um, can choose to add the conversion tracking, which is the Facebook insights tag you would add this piece of code to every single page on your website and then you're able to track conversions within the campaign itself. Once the insights tag is installed on all of our pages, we're able to then set up our conversions by defining what a conversion looks like within the LinkedIn interface. We can then set our daily budget, how much we want to spend each day um, on LinkedIn. We can choose our bid type, maximum bids, for CPC or automated bids if that is the most effective use of your budget. We can decide if we want to have a start date or an end date. We've got some additional options here around the maximum we want our campaign to spend over a start and end date and um, how we want to optimize our ad rotation. We then see a summary of what we can expect from a spend of this amount targeting that audience that we input and that daily spend. So this gives you a good idea of what you can hope to expect from launching this particular LinkedIn campaign. Just a word on the insights tag. So if you are tracking your campaign in Google Analytics as well, you will use Google Analytics as the single source of truth for your conversions. And you don't need to rely on the insights tag so much. It can give you some additional data in terms of helping the journey and influencing the journey, but it may contravene what you're seeing in Google Analytics. I would recommend installing it and then trying to understand between Google Analytics and the LinkedIn Insights tag, which is the best conversion journey that you can understand from the metrics available to you. When you're happy with everything, you simply launch the campaign and your campaign will serve within the next couple of minutes.